Hey Bruce Biddies, what is up? My name is Jared from Frosted Network, and today we are going to be building Starbucks. So we are going to be using a lot of uh, unique blocks. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and the like button, and make sure you guys go down in the comment section and message me a comment stating that you would like to see a different fast food chain restaurant and what it is. What we're going to go ahead and need to start off is blocks of quartz. We're going to need a black stained clay, a cauldron, jungle leaves, glass pane, glass blocks, um, spruce wood fence posts, polished andersite, anvils, and we're going to need more than this. It's just uh, these are the blocks we're going to want to start with. So what we're going to go ahead and do is place three blocks of the quartz. We're going to place. We're going to place one block of the glass one glass pane. We're going to skip one. We're going to skip to this one right here, place a block, and we're going to go ahead and place a block of quartz like this. And actually, let me move this back. Um, by the way, this is a 63 by 63 plot, so just so a roundabout area where you are going to want to build. Okay, so let me just redo this really quickly over here. I did it kind of close to the uh, wall, and I don't want to, you know, mess it up by having to move it when it's all done. I want to take my time and really decorate the area around here. Okay. There we go. Next thing I want to go ahead and do is bring this back to one, two, and then go out like that. So one, two, and it should be three blocks basically on the side. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that there. We're going to go ahead and now grab our black stained clay. We're going to go one, two, three. Let me just think about that. No, it's just two. Sorry. So one, two. Then we're going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and skip three blocks, place that there, go ahead and skip three more blocks, and place a round or a square like so. We're going to come over on this side here, we're going to go one, two, skip three, one, skip three, one, skip three, one, and it's three, and we're going to cut it over right over here. We're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, and on the fourth block, place a block, one, two, three, and on the fourth block, place a block. We're going to go ahead and make that the corner one there. And then you guys just have to eyeball these and make sure that they're lined up with the blocks in front. Let's go over here and do the same thing. So we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, right here, like that. And here we are. So this is what you guys should have. We're going to go ahead and... Sorry, I keep getting my... I have a beard, if you guys don't know. And it, my beard keeps getting in my mouth. I need to trim my beard. So I apologize uh, <laughs> for that. But uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is just bring this up to one block extra high so far. There we go. Okay, and we brought that up to an extra block high, and then in between where we have it marked out, we're just going to go ahead and just fill it in by one block, like so, all the way around the entire build, and right here, where it's the two, where, like that, so I don't know how to really describe it other than that, but yeah, then we're going to go ahead and just keep going by filling that in. Oops. Okay, hold on. Uh, here's the block there and here. I forgot to uh, raise that up before I kept going. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is take cauldrons, and we're going to place cauldrons right here, all the way around the uh, build right here as well. We don't really need it in the back, only in the front and sides.
like this. Now, once that is done, what we're gonna go ahead and do is get rid of the cauldron, break out spruce wood planks. We're gonna go ahead and break all of this here. Be very careful so that way you guys don't damage the glass or you're gonna have to uh, replace it. There we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the grass out all right here, guys. So I want you guys to go ahead and do the same exact thing. You guys can also uh, do any other floor you guys would like, but I'm doing spruce. I just wanted to make sure that's clear. If you guys don't like something that I'm doing, you guys are always welcome to go ahead and change something about it to make it more uh, likable for you. We're gonna go ahead and start to fill this in with spruce wood planks. I know I didn't do the other side yet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start to fill it in while I'm working my way over there. Also, while I'm doing this, and there's not much more to explain, so I might as well just, you know, talk to you guys and hang out, but um, if you guys have PC Minecraft, you guys are more than welcome to join my Minecraft PC server. It was on the beginning of the video. I usually have it, you know, come up saying Frosted Network at, or it's uh, frostednetwork.mcpro.co. I wanted to say at, I don't know why, like it was a website, but no, it's, um, yeah, frostnetwork.mcpro.co. Um, it's always down into the description of my videos and in the comment section of the video. So if you guys want to go down there and just copy and paste it onto your Minecraft, it is version 1.9.4 currently. Um, we are trying to work our way up and get more caught up. So, uh, we're 1.1, uh, so 1.11.2 came out, or 0.1 or whatever with like the jet propulsion stuff so we're trying to get to there but we're kind of uh we have to code our own plugins instead of waiting for developers to do it because they take a long time so we code our own and uh so once we get caught up we're going to 1.10 next and you know so on 1.10 to 1.11 to 1.11.1 and then uh 1.12 sooner or later so make sure you guys definitely come on the minecraft pc server and hang out with us Okay, so now that the floor's filled in, the reason that I did spruce is because, you know, Starbucks, the mocha frate, or in the mocha latte or whatever, I don't know, uh, you know how, like, they're all like that, like a dark, creamy color, so that's why I use that, like, an espresso kind of look uh, to the restaurant. And I'm just taking this up. I don't know how far it's at, five blocks so far. I just wanted to work with this. Because I'm actually building this, believe it or not, um, as I go. I'm just making this up. Uh, I freestyle everything I build. So I have no idea what this is going to turn out to look like. But I have faith in myself. Because I've been doing this a long time. Okay. And at five blocks high, you guys can see how I made like an H with the frame. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill that up right here. And we're going to go and have this coming out like that and here as well. And it makes it look like, and just break that top one. And then it just looks like the doors are open, you know, for, open for business. It's a good motto. So now at five blocks high, we're going to bring this up to the sixth block high. And then you're going to go ahead and bring it two more blocks higher than this. Okay, so once it looks like that, it should look something like this. So if you guys do not have this, go ahead and pause the video here to make sure that you guys are all caught up with everything I got. Uh, make sure you guys rewind the video to another time where it was you know, caught up for you and then just take your time. So once you guys have done that, we're gonna go ahead and grab our black stained clay that we've been using over here. And we're gonna go three, four, five blocks high. 
and just bring it up to five blocks high all the way around like this. Start filling all this up. Again, just take it up to five blocks total height. Once that is all done, we're going to go ahead and just take it like this all the way around the entire thing. So on the fifth block high, we're just going to go ahead and connect it up all the way around, making sure that we just take our time, make sure you guys go slow, uh, don't want to mess anything up. go ahead and add another layer right here all the way around okay so now if you guys don't know this brown or this black stained clay is going to be um, a total of six blocks high and the quartz is a total of nine. There we go. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is place in the glass pane work and just easily take your time. Go nice and slow guys. There's no rush. I'm personally bad with glass pane. So if you're ahead of me, you know, you just skip this part you guys can just skip this uh, part of that video. Um, but just take your time because I'm the worst at it and I know this is the most frustrating piece for me is working with glass panes because they just don't always go the way that you want them to and that just really bothers me. So I easily get frustrated with this uh, item in the game like this rage already triggered. Okay. Triggered again. Okay, I hate glass panes at this point. You guys can experiment with other colors of glass panes, but with my shaders, other colors are kind of like clear and doesn't look like glass. So I always just use glass panes. So that's my reasoning, but it doesn't mean that you guys can't use white or light gray glass panes, because that's personally what I wanted to use. But if I use it, it actually is invisible. Like my shaders doesn't pick it up. So it looks like there's nothing there. And it's just really weird. Like I discovered it yesterday when I was experimenting with glass panes with another build that I was making, but it turned out super weird and just didn't want to work right. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and place jungle leaves like so, all the way around on top of the cauldrons that we have placed. Here we go. Oh, my keyboard got stuck. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is marking out right here so one one two three and then on the fourth block out so technically yeah so it's one two three and then on the fourth block out like so you're just gonna go all the way around like this and then come over here and do the same thing making sure that it's on the third block or the fourth block out from the wall
Okay, so we're, then we're going to take these posts that we have placed up to four blocks high. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and I'm almost done, so it's again something that just takes time, and uh, for me, I gotta go slow, so I apologize for me going too slow. Oh yeah. Next, let's go ahead and just grab cobblestone. We don't need that anymore. And we don't need the quartz currently, so we need to trade it out for, well actually we don't need that. Let's get quartz slabs. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is take cobblestone blocks and place them on the markers right there up to the post. Then what you guys are going to go ahead and do is get quartz slabs and take it out to the third block out all the way around. Oops, I'm bringing that one out too far. Okay, so now that we have that done, it should look something like this. I actually want to do something. I want to go ahead and take this up by one more block, and there's a reason for that later on. And if we don't, it will come to haunt me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this here. Okay, not mean to do that. Let's get the blocks much faster. And just connect it up to over here. And same thing over here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that up. And I'm just gonna bring this over. I'm going to come up, oh, come underneath. There we go. Like that. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this quartz up by another one as well. Because if I don't, it won't look right. And also it will look better with what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is what it should look like. You're then gonna take quartz slabs, and we're gonna grab that, and start right here, filling it in one block below.
Okay, so that one's done, and then I'm gonna come on the inside over here and do the same exact thing. Here we are. There we go, and lastly, over here, we're gonna fill in this big square, or rectangle. I think it's actually a square. There we go, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab block of quartz and fill on the top part of this roof with the block of quartz. You guys can do slabs if you guys want to, but I'm just doing this. There we go. So now we have the rough shape of the build. We're gonna go ahead next and Take this here, bring it out to here, and I kind of messed up. There we go. <clears throat> Bringing this underneath all of the posts, right here over to the edge of the building. And we're gonna bring this all the way down here. There we go. So now that I have this all marked out, you're gonna go ahead and chop it away, just removing all of the excess dirt that we do not need. And after that is done, you're gonna go ahead and take your quartz blocks and fill this area in with the quartz blocks to build a sidewalk. Okay, and then this is the last little stretch that I gotta do. done I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this next section and then over here I'm gonna do the same thing There we go, and I gotta do the last half of the building. Again, guys, if you guys are done, you guys can skip over this part. It's not nothing more than me just building and being silent, because uh, I'm trying to focus and think about what I'm gonna do next. Go ahead and mark out from here 
over to here on the edge of the building. There we go. So it's out by two blocks. Now four blocks. Uh, that's five, six and seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in with quartz as well. So it's 13 blocks out from that side. So uh, from wall to the edge of this should be 15 blocks out since the wall is the two markers. There we go. So it should look something like this when you guys are all done. So we are not done. We have to do one more thing. Let's go ahead. I, I mean, by one more thing, I mean like before we take a break really quickly. To you guys, it'll be instant, but to me, it might be like five minutes. Okay, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is right here, I'm gonna go ahead and mark out a little green patch like that, right above the door. Now, this is just detailing work, guys. We will get back to this. So um, may, just pause video here, make sure you guys have all this stuff and it's all right before we go ahead and continue. Okay, guys, we are back. And what we're going to go ahead and do is I made, or I got someone to make <clears throat> letters for me and they are all messed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. And this time it'll be spelt right. There we go. So I got Starbucks spelled out. So basically what I'm gonna go ahead and do is mark it like this. S-T-A-R-B-U-C. C-K-S. So Starbucks, and there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in my handy dandy book backpack or whatever. And there we go. I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh, well, how'd you make that? Don't ask me. I didn't make it. I got someone on my server to do it. I don't have any idea how to make the banners. There's plenty of tutorials out there on how to spell letters in Minecraft with banners. Um, so, yeah, definitely go ahead and check that out. Like I said, I apologize for that bit. But we're going to go ahead and need glowstone, uh, jungle leaves, uh, black wool and quartz blocks. What we're going to go ahead and do is around this trim work here, we're going to go ahead and trim all this out. Oops. And we're going to go ahead and then fill it in with glowstone once we have done all of that. And you'll go all the way over to this edge here. Now, if you guys had a road, you would just connect this pathway up to a road. Um, now, you want to have a direct road going directly to it. It should be off to the side of the road, and the white is represented as your sidewalk. So make sure that you guys don't assume that when you guys connect it to a city block that you could just build it right into a road, like a road leading to it. No, it should be on the side of a road like how it would be in real life, not a road going straight into a Starbucks, you know? There we go. And then on top of the glowstone, we're gonna go ahead and place jungle leaves for contrast to color, and so it lights it up at night, making it look really pretty. There we go. And we're gonna do the same thing to this side over here.
And there we go. So once that is all done, what we're gonna go ahead and do is trim from here over to here. And you're gonna take all of this out. Sorry about all the clicking, because I am on PC. I would use World Edit, but uh, there are a lot of people on my server right now, and if I do that, you'll see tons of chat coming up, and I don't want to like you know have any privacy broken or anything, because you don't know what people might say either in the chat. There we are. Okay, I fill that in. We're gonna do the same thing on this side over here. So again, you're gonna just trim this all over to here and just come back and clean it all up. Okay, once that's all done, we're gonna go ahead and fill it in with black wool, and if I don't screw this up, which I somehow managed to do. Okay, I think we're almost done with this lot. There we go. And now we're gonna do the same thing to this lot over here. But I'm actually gonna go this way, just cause it's long ways and I don't have to keep going back and forth so much. Oop. Okay, and this is the last layer. There we go. Next thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna mark out right here at each of the posts for a line right there, over here. We're gonna do the same exact thing right here, 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 and here. We're gonna bring that out by five blocks, so two, three, four, five, like that. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And we're gonna do the same thing over here, guys. Two, three, four, five. 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 And what we're gonna go ahead and do now is fill it in with block quartz. Okay, so there we go. Now that that is all done, 
Um, you guys can start working on the interior. I'm not a very good interior designer, um, but you guys should definitely go ahead and do that. So I'm not gonna do the interior, but I will do some exterior by doing stairs as that. So let me grab some stairs. I'm gonna grab a fence post and it's going to be spruce. I need a pressure plate. We're gonna go with cobblestone pressure plate. We're gonna then take a sign. No, let's use item frames. Let's use item frames. Okay, so then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, let me see if this will work. Oh yeah, that works. So in between these here, we're gonna set this up like this, all the way around in between the two posts. And you guys, these are uh, tables for your drinking your coffee and having your little breakfast. You guys can also do tables like this on the inside. And the reason, like I said, I'm using spruce wood is because it gives that dark mocha feel in the espresso. Then I'm gonna go ahead and place item frames on the exterior over here. and it looks like a chair instantly as soon as you do that. Okay, then what we're gonna go ahead and do is take spruce wood fence posts and put it in between the stairs as a table post. We're gonna go ahead and do this on the other side Oops. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our stone pressure plate and place that carefully on top, making a granite countertop. Looks very beautiful. There we go. And that is all. So now you guys have your own uh, very own Starbucks and it's very beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Minecraft tutorial. Make sure you guys hit that follow button, the subscribe button, and the like button down below. Make sure you guys write a comment stating how you liked it. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Bye guys.